What's going on guys? Welcome back to my world. It's your boy Classy. Another day, another music discovery. Welcome back to Tupac's Monday. Yeah, today I'm going to react to one of the hardest D songs ever. I'm going to react to Hit Em Up as you requested. Yeah, my opinion, this song, these D's, is way harder than No Vaseline. This song is way harder than Ether. This song is way harder than Who Shot You. This song is way harder than Take Over. But then again, Tupac is my favorite rapper of all times. And I might be biased. I don't know. You tell me what you think down in the comments. Y'all, before we check this song out, before we vibe this song out together, you already know what you gotta do, you gotta grab some water because water is the key to a better life and you, my friends, gotta stay hydrated. So just follow my lead and drink with me. Let's get it. Mm. Awesome. So, yeah, if I miss anything out, please school me on this topic because, you know, there's so much to know about Pac, you can never know everything. Yeah, Tupac! Machiavelli, take us away, let's get it! I ain't Suck got it. no motherfucker. That's why I fuck your bitch, you fat motherfucker. Westside, bad boy killers, you know. You know who the realest is, niggas, we bring it to <laughs> First off, fuck your bitch in the click you claim. Westside, when we ride, <laughs> come quick with game. Yeah, 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 yeah. He says, I ain't got no motherfucking friends. That's why I fucked your bitch, you fat motherfucker. Basically, he claims to have had sex with Faith Evans, Biggie Small's ex-wife. Or, no, she was wife until he died, right? As I remember correctly. Yo, Faith Evans, obviously... She said many times, yeah, we never had sex with Pac. People who've been around Pac said that they've seen them together many times, touching it, each other and all of that crazy-ish. But yeah, nobody actually know if they ever had sex with the exception of Tupac and Faith Evans. Yeah, but, <laughs> but I like this one right here. Tupac was so paranoid. Tupac didn't believe Biggie and bad boys after he got shot. And he said, that's, I ain't got no motherfucking friends. That's why I fucked your bitch, you fat motherfucker. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> More about that later. <laughs> First off, fuck your bitch in the click you claim. West side, when we ride, come be quick with game. Mm. You claim to be a player. Yo, he also says, West side, when we ride, we come equipped with game basically what he says that on the west side in los angeles you don't ride if you're not strapped you're always trapped that was back in the days i don't know now but basically back in the days you had to ride in your car strapped you know what i'm saying so he says yeah we always trapped because we from west side let's get it in the click you claim west side when we ride come be quick with game you claim to be a player but i fucked your wife we bust some bad boys niggas fuck for life plus plus we trying to see me weak hearts i rip vicky smalls and junior mafia some mark ass bitches we keep on coming while we running for your juice steady gonna keep on busting at the boots you, you know, know the rules little caesar go ask your homie how i leave you cut your young ass up leave you <laughs> now be deceased no. yeah that's a double entendre right here Lil C's was a member of Junior Mafia, just like Tupac had Outlaws, Biggie had Junior Mafia. So Lil C's was a member of Junior Mafia. And Tupac says, yo, Lil C's, I will cut you and will leave you deceased. Like, I will kill you because I know you've been there and you're probably involved in that ish too. You're probably involved in me being robbed and being shot. And, and Tupac makes a reference to Caesar. Caesar being caught and killed. You know what I'm saying? Caesar has been caught and killed. And he says, I'm gonna do to you the same thing like they did the real Caesar. Let's get it. Caesar, go ask your homie how I'll leave you. Cut your young ass up, leave you in peace. Don't, don't be deceased. deceased. Lil' Kim, don't fuck around with real G's. Quick and snatch your ugly ass off the streets. So fuck peace. I'll let the niggas Grab your blocks when you see Tupac. Call the cops when you see 
Listen to Pog uh, Who shot me but your pumps didn't finish Now you're about to feel the wrath of a menace Nigga, I hit him up Check this out, you motherfuckers know what time it is I don't even know why I'm on this track Y'all niggas So check it out, I can't wait till the end of this song To all of you who is not familiar with the beef between Tupac and Biggie I'm gonna let you know what happened in a couple of words So basically Biggie and Bad Boys were in, in a studio in New, in New York. They invited Tupac over, you know, maybe to collab or just have some fun at the studio. So Tupac goes to the studio. He gets robbed in the lobby. He gets robbed and shot. They shot Tupac five times. Basically, they didn't finish the job. Tupac survived, you know, but he became paranoid. He thought, he thought Big M Bad Boy Records wanted to kill Tupac because he was too famous. He was too good at that time. So Tupac survives. You know what I'm saying? He survives and then he goes to jail for something he didn't do. You know, for that rape case. And while in jail, while in jail, you gotta understand something. Tupac and Biggie were friends. And while in jail, Biggie releases the song, Who Shot Sha? You already know that song. It's a dope song. It's a dope song. I'm not trying to be biased. It's a dope song. But tell me, please, people. Tell me, please, people. Especially Biggie fans. Especially Biggie's fans. Who does such a thing to, to a friend? You know what I'm saying? Your friend gets shot. Your friends get shot in the lobby of your studio. He goes to jail, and then you release a song, Who Shot Ya? You know what I'm saying? And Biggie claims that song, that song is not addressed to Tupac. But who does such a thing? Even if, even if it's not addressed to Tupac, who does a thing like that? Yo, my boy got shot. Oh, let's release a song, Who Shot Ya? Yeah, so basically that's why Tupac comes home. And he releases this song right here, Hit Him Up. And he says, yo, you didn't finish the job. I'm alive. God, hit him up. Check this out. You motherfuckers know what time it is. I don't even know why I'm on this track. Y'all niggas ain't even on my level. I'ma let my little homies ride on your bitch made yeah, ass yeah. back. But one thing, one thing Tupac probably didn't realize is he dissed his homies from Outlaws. He said, yo, I don't even know what, why I'm on this track. I don't know why I diss you. When you are not on my level, I'm gonna let my little homies talk. I don't know if Tupac noticed, but he dissed his little homies. You know what I'm saying? Cause he knows he's above them. He was, and that is the truth, but I don't think that's a cool thing to say. Hey, let's get it. I'm on this track. Y'all niggas ain't even on my level. I'ma let my little homies ride on you bitch made ass. Yeah. 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 Get out the way, yo, get out the way, yo Biggie Smalls just got dropped Little move past the mat And let me hit him in his back Frank White needs to get spanked right for setting traps Little accident murderers And I ain't never heard of ya Poisonous cats attack when I'm serving ya Drink the shake, your whole style when I can't Guard your rank cause I'ma slam your ass in the paint Puffy weaker in the fucking block I'm running through nigga And I smoke a junior mafia in front of you nigga With the ready power tucking my gas under my Eddie Bauer Your clock Hard, ready sour, I'll yo. be back in the Yo, tell me who's your favorite Outlaws member, honestly. My personally, back in the days, my favorite Outlaws member was Fatal Hussein, rest in peace Fatal, and Gaddafi. These two men, I'm sure if Gaddafi would have lived a couple of more years, he would have been the biggest artist from, from Outlaws, you know what I'm saying? But, but I'm so honored to to have a photo and shake hands with Fatal Hussein right one year before he died. One year before he died, I shook hands with him. I talked with him. I said, yo, that song of yours every day is really incredible. And he really loved that. We shook hands. We have photos. Come on. This guy is so cool. Yo, let's get it. With the ready power, tuck in my guess under my Eddie Bauer Your clock petty sour, I'll push back at this every hour Hit him up Grab your clocks when you see Tupac Call the cops when you see Tupac uh, Who shot me but your punks didn't finish Now you're about to feel the wrath of a menace Nigga, we hit him up, people how we do it Keep it real, it's penitentiary still This ain't no freestyle 
rap battle, all you niggas getting killed with your mouths open. Trying to come up off of me, you in the clouds open. Smoking dope, it's like a Sherma, niggas think they learn to... Mm. This ain't a freestyle, so basically what Tupac is saying, he knows that in a rap battle, in a freestyle, you know, with lots of workplace, he will get destroyed by Biggie, because Biggie was a better freestyler than Tupac was when it when it comes to workplace metaphors and all that shit. Tupac says, yo, I'm not killing you in a freestyle. I'm actually literally saying that when I see you, I kill you. We ride with guns. When I see you, when I see you and Diddy and the whole Bad Boy Records, I'm going to kill you. That's why he says, this ain't a freestyle. This is life. I'm going to kill you like for real. Let's get it. Gonna come up off of me, you in the clouds open. Smoking dope, it's like a Sherma. Niggas think they learn to fly. But they burn, motherfucker, you deserve to die. Talking about you getting money, but it's funny to me. <laughs> All you niggas living for me, why you fucking with me? I'm a self-made millionaire. Thug living mm. out of prison, pistols in the air. <laughs> Biggie, remember when I used to let you sleep on the couch and beg a bitch to let you sleep in the house? Basically, if you notice, Tupac says, you copy my style, and later on, Idi Amin will say, will say the same thing. Beat, biter, a Pac style taker. Tupac was one of the first rappers to wear all these designer clothes. Versace, Gucci. If I remember correctly, the owner of Versace, yeah, probably it was Versace. Really loved Tupac. He said, yo, you are a very good looking man. And he gave him clothes just to just to wear so he could become a, a new face of Versace. You know what I'm saying? So one of the first rappers in the whole industry to wear Versace and Prada and all the, these designer clothes was Tupac. And after that, everybody copied his style. Everybody wanted to dress like him, including Biggie. Let's get it. I'm from any W jerseys with plenty of curves. When the ones that come, we bring the drama to all you heard. Not to check the scenario. Little C's, I bring you fake G's to your knees. Cop and please in these scenario. Little Kim is you coked up or doped up. Yo, little C's, you fake G's, I bring you to your knees. Do you notice the rhyming scheme here, how perfect it is? Yo, little C's, you fake G's, I bring you to your knees in De Janeiro. Basically what he's saying, you know a lot of tourists in Rio de Janeiro, they, they stay on their knees in front of Jesus statue. So he says, yo, I'm going to do the same thing to you. I'm going to put you on your knees like people in Rio de Janeiro. Come on, man, that was dope and the rhyming skill. Curves, no points to come, we bring the drama to all you heard. Not to check the scenario. Little C's, I bring you fake G's to your knees. Cop and please the scenario. Little kids, you coked up or doped up. Little junior whopper click smoked up. What the fuck is you stupid? I take money, crash and mash through Brooklyn. With my click looting, shooting and polluting your block. With 15 shot, cock lock, see you not. Outlaw, I might be a click. Moving up another notch in your box. Yeah. Get mopped and dropped all your fake ass East Coast props. Brainstormed and locked. Use a big butter, a boss. Now you tell me who won. I, I see, see them, they, they rock. <laughs> They don't wanna see us. Whole junior mafia clique dressing up trying to money. How the fuck they gonna be the mob when we always on our job? We millionaires. Killing ain't fair, but somebody gotta do it. Oh yeah, mob deep. <laughs> you wanna fuck with us? You little young ass motherfuckers. Don't one of you niggas got single sale or something. You fuckin' with me, nigga. You fuck around, have a seizure or heart attack. You better back the fuck up. Yo, I think. I think at at this moment, Tupac went too far. Basically, he's not dissing only Big and Bad Boys, he's dissing everybody who wanna fuck with West Side and Tupac and Outlaws. He says, yo, Mob Deep, you wanna fuck with us? Don't one of y'all got sick of cells? Rest in peace, prodigy of Mob Deep. 
he battled sickle cell all his life, all his life. And that's a big struggle right there. And I think talking about that and wishing another man bad like that, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like talking about his health and his struggle like that is too much, too much. Even though I'm a fan of Tupac and I stand beside him, I think that's too much right here. This part is too much. But hey, let's get it. That's a song right here. Go sail or something. You fucking with me, nigga. You fuck around, have a seizure, a heart attack. You better back the fuck up before you get smacked the fuck up. It's how we do it on our side. Any Crazy. niggas from New York that wanna bring it, bring it. But we ain't singing, we, we bring the drama. Fuck you and your motherfucking mama. We gonna kill all you motherfuckers. Now when I came out, I told you it was just about Biggie. Then everybody had to open their mouth with a Check motherfucker pin. Well, this how we gonna do this. Fuck Mob Deep. Fuck, fuck Biggie. As a motherfucking crew And if you wanna be down with bad boy Then fuck you too Cheeto XL Fuck you too All you motherfuckers Fuck you too All of y'all motherfuckers Fuck you Die slow motherfucker My phone phone Make sure all y'all kids don't grow You motherfuckers can't be us or see us We motherfucking thug life riders West side till we die Out here in California nigga We warn you we'll bomb on you motherfuckers We do our job You think you Man, Tupac spazzing here. He really went nuts right here. Fuck all your motherfuckers, bad boy, mob deep, and everybody who wanna be down with bad boy. You know what I'm saying? Fuck all of you. My 4-4, which is a pistol, a gun, make sure all your kids don't grow. I'm gonna shoot you, your wife, your mama, and your kids. I'm gonna make sure None of your family survives. He's crazy. <laughs> crazy. Here in California, nigga, we warn you, we'll bomb on you motherfuckers. We do our job. You think you mob, nigga, we the motherfucking mob. Ain't nothing but killers and the real niggas, all you motherfuckers fill us. Our shits go triple in four quadruple. You niggas laugh cause our staff got guns in they motherfuckers' belts. You know how it is when we drop records, they fell. You niggas can't feel it. We're bad boy killers. <laughs> Man, this is crazy. You laugh and that's what happened back in the days. People laughed. People laughed at death row because they really had guns. Everybody, everybody in the death row had guns. It was crazy. That's why, that's why, that's why Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg and Ice Cube left. You know what I'm saying? Well, no, actually, no, 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 no. Ice Cube left way before. I'm sorry. But Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg was on their fro and they didn't re they didn't like what, what they were seeing on their fro. And that's why they left. But you know what I really like about this song? Apart from the lyrics and delivery, what I really like about this song is, let's imagine a scenario. Tupac came home from the jail. He went straight to the studio, thinking I'm gonna drop this this song on this on Bad Boy and Biggie and Mob Deep and everybody who is down with Bad Boy. Okay, so he sat in the studio and was thinking about production. What do I do about production? How do I kill them even more? So he decided to take Biggie songs and Bad Boy Junior Mafia songs and flip them, sample them, and use the samples on his own disc towards them. This song right here, Hit Em Up, contains two samples of Bad Boy Records. Play an anthem and get money. You hear fake money, that's a sample from get money. You hear the, the bass, that's from play an anthem. It's crazy. I really like this one right here, I hope. You like my reaction, guys. This probably is a very long reaction, even though we did not decipher lots of bars. But I really hope you like this one right here. If I missed anything out, because I definitely did, school me on the things that I did. Hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends. Leave some comments below. Subscribe to my channel. If you're not subscribed yet, hit the bell and enable the notification not, not to miss any of my reactions. Subscribe, follow me on every social media. And I hope to see you next time. Y'all stay blessed, one world, one love. Love yours, 
Peace out.